What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you 10 things that I cannot live without. And I actually got this idea from GQ's YouTube channel, but since I'm not cool enough to be a part of GQ, I decided to recreate it on my own channel. We have my Polaroid camera. I actually got this pretty recently and I'm obsessed with it now. It's just super fun to take photos with your friends and I really like the color film because it comes out a bunch of different colors and they're just fun little keepsakes to have around the house. And I actually have like Polaroids of myself and my friends all around my apartment. Next up is my day planner. This is where I obviously keep track of my schedule, but it's also kind of like a journal to me. So I don't like anybody going in my day planner. It's kind of mine and for my eyes only. And I also have like a notebook in here too where I take a lot of notes, but I don't think I could live without a handwritten day planner. I don't really like keeping track of my schedule in my phone or in my laptop like a lot of people do, so I just like doing it the old school way. My next essential is white t-shirts. So I have tons of white t-shirts. This one actually happens to be my favorite. As you can see, it's very simple and it's just white, but I love wearing white t-shirts with pretty much anything and that's kind of like my uniform and it's my go-to. If I don't know what to wear, I just grab a white t-shirt and I wish I could take you into my closet so you can see all that I have. This is another one that's one of my favorites. It says Pets Are People too, And this is my favorite white tank top. But, gotta have a white t-shirt or I like black ones too, but white ones more. <laughs> Next up is my jewelry. So my favorite color is gold. I love gold jewelry and I love delicate pieces. So, and I like pieces that I can wear all the time that I don't have to take off and I don't have to worry about them like turning green or anything. <laughs> so um, I have these rings that I always wear. I probably haven't taken these off, I don't know, many months. Even when I work out or whatever I do these, stay on and then I also have these three necklaces the top two I got for myself at this little boutique in Santa Monica and then this one at the bottom was a gift and it's rose gold and then I also have this matching rose gold bracelet that was also a gift oh my earrings too these little hoops are from Belladar this really cool girl, Rachel, has this jewelry company with a lot of like gold delicate pieces and these are from her. And then obviously like my earring studs, I always keep in these two piercings up here and then this one. I never change these earrings, just the bottom ones. Probably my most bougie item of my 10 essentials would be my purse. And I bought this for myself as a little present to myself because I just thought it was absolutely beautiful and I wanted a really nice handbag that I could carry around everywhere and that is exactly what I do with this one. So one thing that I love and I travel with are face masks. So they are like sheet masks that you put on and I probably use a sheet mask, I don't know, like three to four five times a week. I kind of go overboard on them, but I have a bunch of different kinds with different ways that they treat your skin. I'm actually almost out and I have more coming in the mail right now, so these are like the last few that I have. But there's hydrating ones, there's brightening ones. These ones are, this one is firming. This one is for elasticity. Um, and then this one is an eye mask. So these ones go over your entire face. These ones just go underneath your eyes. So sometimes if I'm sleepy or when I travel, I feel like my skin dries out when I'm on a lot of airplanes. So I will just put these on before a shoot or maybe if I've had a long shoot day, I put it on after just to relax. And I actually, did one of these this morning before today's shoot because I didn't get much sleep last night. 
but um, totally essential and really good for my skin. Next up is another item of clothing and it is Adidas running shorts. So I basically live in these things and I have so many pairs of them. I just love the short running shorts with three stripes on the side and they're loose and comfortable. I have two different pairs of these and I'm actually wearing one of them right now. And then the simple black and white ones, which are my absolute favorite. I have, I think, four pairs of these, of the exact same short, but I wear them all the time, and yeah. Throw these on with a white tee and I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, okay, at least it's empty. <laughs> so, not knock over my tee. My next <laughs> essential is my suitcase because you guys know I travel so much. And my suitcase is also gold because once again, that's my favorite color. And this is also like my checked bag suitcase. So I prefer not to have a black one because I feel like that blends in with everybody else's. And this is the one I got. So this is my lacrosse ball. And I love this thing because I use it to roll out mostly my feet, but sometimes I will roll, roll out my hip flexors as well. But a lacrosse ball is really good because it's easier to travel with than say like a foam roller or a gun or something. <laughs> Meaning like the gun that you use to massage yourself, not like a real gun. You guys know what I'm talking about, the thing that like, not a real gun. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna stop there. That's my lacrosse ball that I like to roll out my feet with. <laughs> my last essential is Daisy. Oh, be careful, honey. No, don't jump, don't jump. <laughs> oh, it's okay. She's just a little bit camera shy. And uh, my best friend's dog is over here right now too and she's staring at him. So number 10 is my cat. Can you say hi? Ooh. And she's off. <laughs> Thanks, baby. All right, guys, so those are my 10 things that I cannot live without. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, and also please let me know in the comments below what are some of your essential things? And I look forward to reading about them. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next week.